Welcome to PA Academy. In this video, I'm going to be taking you step by step how to draw a five pointed star. So, in, in drawing a five pointed star, I'm going to be using a regular pentagon. So, what we are going to do first is for us to draw a pe regular pentagon, and the regular pentagon is going to give, help us to draw a perfect five pointed star. So, before we get into this video, if you are new to PA Academy or you are yet to subscribe, Please take our time to click on that subscribe button it's absolutely free to subscribe and if you enjoy content on the technical drawing and engineering drawing do make sure you also subscribe to this channel all right so thank you very much if you have just done that so now what we want to do now is to draw first of all draw the pentagon like i said so we are going to be drawing a pentagon with a side of eight centimeter so i'm going to measure one side of the pentagon and in drawing your pentagon make sure you draw your pentagon with a faint line so I'm going to be working with a pentagon with a side of 8 cm. So like I said, you make sure it's a faint line. So this is point A and B. So from point A to point B. So from this point here to here, represent our 8 cm. As you can see here, 8 cm. So having done that, you bring in your, your protractor, you place it on point A. So make sure your protractor is properly placed. It's very important so that you have, um, to make sure that we have accurate results. Make sure it's properly placed. Now, from point A, note from point A, you are going to measure 72 degrees in clockwork direction. So you start from this point, you measure 72 degrees. So this is my 72 degrees. And then you bring it to point B. So once you place it, uh, you place it on point D, you're also going to measure 72 degrees in anti-clockwise direction. So you're going to measure it like this. So this is 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So this will be 70, 71, and this is 72. So having done that, you are going to draw the side. Remember, you are working with 8 centimeters. So from point A, you bring in your ruler and make sure it's in line with where we marked our 72 degrees. So you make sure that they are in line. So this is where we marked our 72 degrees. This is the point, this point here for 72. So you make sure that they are in the same line with point A. They are on the same line with point A. So with this, you will measure and then you draw a line of 8 cm. So depending on the length you are working with, it's still the same step, even if you are working with a different length other than 8 cm. So I'll repeat the same thing on point B. So from point B to where we have our 72 degree uh, point, where we mark our 72 degrees, 8 cm. And remember I said you, work, you draw it with a faint line, like I'm having here. So I haven't gotten those two points. Let me call this point C and let me call this point, point E. So point E and this is point, point C. So using your compass, you measure the same 8 cm for the length of the sides. So 8 cm. You place it on point C. So from point C, you draw an arc. You place it on point E. You also draw an arc. Now we note our, the, the point of intersection. This is the point of intersection. So let's call this point D. So from that point D, we are going to draw a line to point C. Don't forget, it's going to be a faint line. And if you look at it, that line is also going to give us 8 centimeter. So if you guys can see, 8 centimeter. So same here. With a faint line so now we already have our, our pentagon drawn the next thing is for us to start with our five pointed star so in drawing our five pointed pointed star i'm going to be starting from point a what you are doing next you can start from anywhere but i'm just choosing to start from point a so now from point a we are going to draw a line to point c that means you are going to be skipping the, uh, the next point and draw a line to the one that follows this is what i mean so from point a we skip point b draw a line to point c so this line that we are going to be drawing, that we can now make it bold. So we are going to be having something like this. Now from point C, we are going to skip point D and draw a line to point E. So this is it. So now that we are on point E, we are going to skip point A and draw a line to point B. So like this, 
So now that we're on point B, we skip point C again and go to point D. So that's the concept behind drawing a star, a five-pointed star. So now that we are on point D, so we are going to skip point E and draw a line to point A. So as you can see with this, we already have our five, our five pointers that you can see these are the five, these are the five points. So this is how you go ahead to draw it. Also, if you want to know how to draw other pointed star, like what I have here, this is a six pointed star or a seven pointed star. This is seven pointed star. You know, maybe the eight pointed star, like what we have in the, you know, there are two method. We also have the nine pointed star. They about. So if you want to know how to draw. Uh, any of those pointed star kindly check the description of this video i'll leave a link uh, to those videos so thank you very much for watching and if you are here to subscribe please 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 take our time to subscribe to this channel and with that i'll see you all in another video thank you